10. They are being honored as heroes. For the first time, we hear from the first responders who saved a boy trapped in a West Dallas house fire. They talked to our Tony Atkins. They were just doing their jobs. It's on the floor to your right, floor to your right. But it's a job like no other. Oftentimes, thankless roles for dispatchers, police, and firefighters, but not today. And tonight, we're here to honor everybody who took part in this. The West Dallas Common Council honored 11 people Tuesday. The group involved in executing a successful rescue of a family from a burning mobile home. People like Lieutenant Dan Rohde, who broke through glass to jump inside a burning home to save three-year-old MJ Cincinnati struck. So the police were yelling for MJ. Uh, once I made it into the window, visibility was none. I could see that he was laying on the floor. Um, I could hear him whimpering, and he's kind of in like a right-sided fetal position. Before the rescue were the dispatchers. Folks like Melissa Schreiber took those critical calls. We started seeing multiple 911 calls coming in uh, for that location. So we prepared ourselves that something was actually happening. Melissa says the third of many 911 calls was the one that alerted crews that MJ was still trapped inside. His uncle Andrew Kreblin was there personally to watch the commendations. It was, it was a group effort and you know, it doesn't stop here for recognition, and at least in our family. Both Dan and Melissa among the group of first responders involved that day. The greatest reward, saving those lives. The ultimate um, recognition is just being able to come and see the family um, and talk to MJ and make sure he's doing good. We were doing our job. We were trying to keep the community safe, trying to get the firefighters to do their job, trying to get as much information out as possible. Well-earned recognition for a job well done. In West Dallas, Tony Atkins, TMJ4 News. Little MJ is now out of the hospital. You can scan that QR code on your screen. It will take you to our interview with him and his mom about his recovery and what is next for them. Find it all at TMJ4.com.